In the past six months, I've been learning how to box so you don't have to. What's poppin' YouTube? We are back. Another sparring video. That's me right there without the headgear. And my friend on the right, he is around 165 pounds. In this video, I'm 130 pounds. Um, he doesn't really box at all. I, you guys have seen, follow the series. It's still early days of me boxing in this clip, but I definitely have, uh, I definitely have some boxing experience. And this will show you what it looks like when I box against someone with no experience. Yeah. You got the camera though? Yeah. I'm gonna use a camera this is how it looks out with Wait, someone with no experience. Five seconds. This is uh, exactly how I look, man. One start. Bro, what is going on with my thing? Alrighty, so starting off. Okay, I okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go back. I pressure him. He doesn't know how to deal with the pressure. Get him to the butt right there. Just step back, cause I'm not trying to kill him. One, two. Working my jab. It's good range finding by me. Trying to work on my rhythm. It's a little bit too obvious. One, two. And it's, what's crazy is if you guys watch me in my other clips when I'm fighting the real boxers, it shows you the levels. Oh, he got me with a good jab there. At this, oh, good jab by me. Right hand, not enough pop. The key takeaway for this, oh, almost got him there. The key takeaway of this spar, I remember, was I kind of, I'm in a little bit of a karate style in this clip. My knees weren't too bent. Oh, head movement. Um. The key takeaway was I wanted to have more of a boxing style in my uh, future spars. But I'm doing decent, you know, like, it, as I said, it sh this shows you the levels, man. Because when I'm boxing people who are uh, real boxers, I can't, I can't style on them like I am with this guy. Like, look, I have my hand down. My knees aren't very bent. I'm being a lot more explosive at this point, but it's not enough. That's how I should be. You see that right there? Where where my gloves are up and I'm waiting. Both my gloves are up. That's how I should be as a boxer. 50 seconds left. Okay, that was bad. Let me show you guys something. Look how I fire my jab off. 50 seconds. Boom. Look at that. Chin in the air. Right hand down. Way too over. I'm overreaching as well. If he was good, he could have made me pay. You got the seven. Not enough bend in my knee. Good, get him with the good left hook right there. And props to my friend. He, he, he has some. Like, no, nah, I don't want to say training, but, like, seconds left. he's trying to use his jab. He's trying to use his straight right. But it's different because I've sparred against real boxers, and sparring is what makes all the difference, you know? Um, you can hit the bag. You can Ten. practice on the mitts. Boom. But until you have that sparring training. GG's. Boom. Great, great, great round. That was good work, man. But, yeah. The reason I included this clip is to show you guys how you guys have seen in previous episodes whenever I'm sparring against um, real boxers, I've got to be a lot more defensively responsible. Uh, it, I get a lot more tired because the person in front of me has better cardio. And I look a lot worse whenever I'm sparring a real boxer because it's just, as I said, it's levels. Um, but this will give you an idea of how I look like against a guy who does not box, you know? A guy who's bigger than me, who's 
who's decently strong. Like this guy, this guy squats 300 pounds, I think. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your boy Phil. We are gonna keep at it with more videos almost daily. See you guys in the next boring episode.